how do we graph piecewise functions? In this video, I will give you guys two examples. Here, for the first one, we have 4x minus 1 if x is greater than 1. And the second piece is x plus 2 if x is less than or equal to 1. As we can see, both of them are linear, so we can expect to have two line segments. And because both of them are linear, we can just do it the following way. Check this out. Um, first, I will just probably put the graph paper and uh, let's say this is 1 and let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 1, 2 and then let's yeah, just do the little graph paper real quick yeah alright, here's the deal we first pay attention to this number right, the end point for the pieces well, even though x is not equal to 1 but we still have to know where the line starts so I will still have to put 1 into this x and compute the y value so, here we go when x is equal to 1, we see the y value will be 4 times 1 and then minus 1 and that will give us 3 but here, x cannot be equal to 1 what do we do? usually we just go to 1, comma 3 and put a point but here, because x is not equal to 1, we just put down an open circle like that then that will be the starting point but it's actually a starting open circle for this segment alright? well Remember, as long as we have two points, then we can get the line. So why don't we just pick a number bigger than one and plug into this, and then we can just get the second point and then connect the dots. So let's go ahead and pick x is equal to, let's say 17. No, just kidding, of course. Don't torture yourself. Pick x is equal to 2. So y equals 4 times 2, and then minus 1, and that will give us 7. So we see we have 2 comma 7 and this time it's going to be a solid point and that will be it and of course we will have to connect the dots but this time this is the start and then we'll just go connect here and of course it extend only this way because that's when x is greater than 1 alright that's done and now we just have to work this out well for this that's when x is less than we equal to 1 so we will still have to plug in when x is equal to 1 this is going to give us y that's equal to 1 plus 2 hey, this is also equal to 3 that's very nice so here, because this is x is equal to 1 and we also have 3 we go to 1 comma 3 and fill in the circle just because they kind of match right? and you will see later on sometimes they don't necessarily you know, meet at the same point Alright, and then of course, this time, we will have to pick a number less than 1 because x is less than or equal to 1 so let's pick when x is equal to 0 and then we just get y equals 0 plus 2 and that's going to give us 2 so that means we have this point here and the second point is going to be right here and yeah, we can just connect the dots now and it's going to look like this the slope is 1, so I'm going to give you guys a good picture so it will be like that so it's like this and then like that okay? so it's not a straight line, it's like there's a corner okay, cool now, let's take a look right here we just have 2, which is actually just a horizontal line and then x squared, which is the good parabola pay attention to this number and uh, perhaps you can uh, start with a uh, the graph paper, let's say 1, 2, 3, and let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 6 like this. Alright, so of course I'll do this one in black, and when you see x is greater than or equal to 0, you just graph 2. When you have a number, that's just going to be a horizontal line. This time, when x is 0, we get 2, and it's a closed circle. And then of course, when x is 1, you can also put in 2, right? when x is 2 is also still 2, so that's why we get a horizontal line but anyway, that's this piece now, for the second piece, of course it's just the good old parabola looks like this and if you would like, you can also just do what we did over there you can also plug in and compute when x is 0, the y is going to be 0 squared, which is 0 0, 0, it will be right here but do not include that point because of the inequality so open circle and then put the number less than 1 and we, well, we will have to put a number less than 0 which is negative 1 
and we get y equals negative 1 squared, which is 1. So negative 1, 1 right here. But you know it's not going to be a straight line. You can just do another point. Yeah, just to be a little bit more technical, I would say. So we get 4, 2, comma 4, which is like this. And here we go. We're going to just connect the points together with the curve. This is meant to be 2, comma, negative 2, comma 4. Yeah, so it's a parabola like this. And there's a jump when x is 0, and then you just go horizontal like that. It's like Super Mario. You slide down, and you have to make the jump, and then you keep running. Right? So, that's it.